welcome back to the moose shop. I just completed this simple little hat rack, but very useful. So if you're interested in it, stick around and I'll walk you through it. It'll come in handy. All right, so we basically what we did was just milled up a couple pieces of wood. Now you could do, if you have a thick piece of wood that you don't have to join a couple together, then go ahead and use it. I wouldn't go any smaller than a half inch. Mine, these here are three feet long. You could go as long as you want, as short as you want. But this is what we're going to work with here. Now, what you should do though is just mark them every six inches because you need at least six inches between hats so that they hang nice. So I'm going to come three off the ends, and then I'll go every six inches from there. I'm going to take it to the drill press, and we'll drill holes for the dowels. Okay, so we got all the holes cut at 18 degrees for the dowels, and then I, will, I also put in some mounting screw holes that are 16 inches apart for, to hit the studs for the wall. So now that's all done, what we're going to do is we're going to do a round over on the face here, just to soften it up a little bit.
Okay, so the base for the hat rack is all done. Now all you need to do is put your dowels in and hang it on the wall. So let's pretend like this is hung on the wall. And I don't even glue these in because just in case you just break one off, you can just re easily replace it. And you just grab your hats, hang it on here like this, and you can actually double them up if you want or triple them up, depending on how many hats you have. Now the only thing that bothers me about this is that if you have your nice expensive hats and you got this little bit of a dowel sticking, it ends up putting like a little dent in the hat. Well, I got a little trick. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So there you go, if you take a golf ball and drill a half inch hole, it'll fit right over the end of your dowels, and that way there, it won't leave a, a dent in your hat, your good hats. And you could do, you could do them all like this if you want to, or one, one with and one without. But that, now that your good hats won't have the little dent in them, nice, nice big round. So I would epoxy those in, um, just so they don't go bounce around the, the house. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so that's that's the hat rack. That's a simple hat rack to make for you, know, you beginning woodworkers and stuff, and it's fun and very useful. I have four of them in my in my in my room. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and I'll see you soon.